kicked off training camp here at St. Thomas Sports Park. So we have the Titans training camp report fueled by Gatorade right here at TitansOnline.com. I'm Amy Wells, joined by Mike Keith. Mike, this is your 21st Titans training camp. It is. When you walked out onto the fields today, what stood out to you? Mike Vrabel. Yeah. Mike Vrabel is fun to watch at every turn. And as you watch Mike Vrabel and his staff, the first thing I thought is, if you're a Titans football player, you better love practice. There is teaching and there's intensity everywhere for the hundreds of Titans fans who came out to St. Thomas Sports Park today to see this team. I think they got that impression right away. The intensity and the energy is just different than I've ever seen in what is now my third decade of, of going to training camp. A lot less pads. Back when we did it in, in 1998, it was two a days all the way through. Guys kind of dragged because you were just trying to survive. Under the new collective bargaining agreement, you can just practice once full go. You can do an extended walkthrough, but it's totally different. And yet the energy is the thing that jumps out even more than the difference in practices. You mentioned intensity and energy and excitement. All spring, we've been watching the wide receivers and the defensive backs battle it out, and it's always been the exciting matchup to watch. Who won today? I think the D-backs did. The best play of the day, Corey Davis made a tremendous catch in the end zone in a red zone drill away from his fellow 2017 first-round pick, Adoree Jackson. So that was the play of the day. But overall, the DBs continue to make things happen. Logan Ryan with an interception. Dane Cruikshank with an interception. Malcolm Butler with an interception. Battling Corey Davis in a continuation from that playoff game at New England back in January. Their battles, I think, are going to continue out here on the practice field. This is a good secondary. They have depth, they have talent, and they're going to challenge these receivers at every turn. Another first round draft pick that everyone was watching today is linebacker Rashawn Evans. What did you see out of him today? That's something that's never changed about training camps through the years is everybody wants to know what does the first round pick look like. Uh, the young linebacker from Alabama, I think, performed well. He did get to work with the first unit some. I think he's come back ready to play, ready to challenge. I don't believe you ever know anything about a linebacker till you see full pads. Uh, because tackling is such a big part of that job. But this is a guy who knows how to practice, knows what's expected of him, clearly studies, and I think he's going to put himself in the mix right away to earn a first-team berth. But it won't be given to him. It's not automatic. He's going to have to earn it right out here. All right, lots to watch as we continue through training camp. Day two is right here at St. Thomas Sports Park tomorrow morning, 9.30 a.m. You don't want to miss it. For Mike Keith, I'm Amy Wells, and this is the Titans Training Camp Report fueled by Gatorade.